Okay, so here's what I did. This is the normal back of my business card. You see that uh, it's kind of cool. So it has the QR codes, but it didn't have my new website on it. So I went to the publisher and I made a template using the same size cutout or shape as this card. So this is dimension like a card and I printed this out. So there's that. And then I created little slot holes in each of the patterns. What I found was I had an extra one at the top, but it grabs too easily in the, the cheapy printer I've got. So what I do is I take these slots and park the card in the slot with it backwards like that, and I'll fill the six slots now. As you can see, I fit the slot in and then I'll fit it over here too. You gotta be careful that these are gonna eventually tear out a little bit. So that's one of the things, it's just, just a regular piece of paper. Okay, so there you see each of them is in the slot. They don't have the information on them, but they're in the slot. So now I'll take this and load it into the printer. Load it in the printer the right direction. That's feed paper. Go to the program, file, print, print. It'll ask me if I want to do an alignment on it here in a minute, which I don't really care about. Grabs it. Now really quick, it'll spit it out because I got it in fast grayscale. Now, because of that, now each of my cards has my website name and my website address on it, whereas before, da, 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 it didn't. 